This is my son, Sammy. He was nearly 13 years old when he was struck and killed. The day after Sammy was killed, there were teddy bears on every lamppost for 25 blocks. I lost three of my friends from my middle school within the span of 15 months. It's an epidemic. Three children from Sammy's middle school. Such a sad place. They were run over by cars. The crash that killed him was in front of my house. It was right near my house. Everyone was affected yeah. by it. You're scared. Complete shock. I just really can't believe it happened. There's times it's just too much. It changed my perspective on everything. Different people respond to grief differently. Some people turn into themselves, and some people stand up and say, there's something I can do. I initially heard about the Samsung Cell for Tomorrow competition when it was put in our daily announcements. I had an idea to build this app that would detect cars and alert you. When Allison came to me with the idea for the app, I thought, I mean, honestly, I thought it was crazy. Once I started working with the team, I thought that this could be something that we could turn into reality. And I had no idea that we would actually be able to do it in the end. We had to test it many, many, many times. We were kind of exploring somewhat new territory. An app that using the sound waves of a car is able to detect the speed of a car so that it gives you an alert and gives you enough time to move out of the way. It took a lot of trial and error, a lot of debugging, a lot of tuning, a lot of like late nights. This competition, Solve for Tomorrow, offers them a moment to say, I can make a difference. That's so rare. That's just not something that young people get. They don't have a voice. So to offer them that, is, it means everything. You know, I just think it is very impressive that four young students have taken it upon themselves to make an invention that will make a difference in many lives. When I heard somebody ask them, so what are you going to charge for this app? And they said, nothing. We don't want anything. We want people to be safe. This moment said volumes about who they are, who they want to become, and what they want to give to the world. Sammy was an amazing kid. He wanted to go to school here. He wanted to be one of them. So what they are doing is really making a difference. They didn't just dwell in sadness. Instead, they came up with something new, something that could help everybody out. Even with the Samsung Cell for Tomorrow competition being over, there is still a lot more work that is left to be done. So as the world goes on, there's going to be more and more problems, and we need people to fix them.